Hey everyone, it's Brandon from The Somethings. In this installment of Drum Maintenance, we're going to be taking a look at how I tune my snares. So grab your drum key and follow along. Alright, so we're going to start with the snare side. And basically what I do first thing is I finger tighten all the lugs. Then, to actually tune it, tune it per se, because it's, it's really just for the snare wires to resonate on, I'm just going to go around and give every lug a half turn until I get it to as tight as I want. It's all personal preference, so I'm going to go do that now. Alright, so I've got it to as tight as I want it to be. And uh, a good thing to note is when you're tuning is these snare wires tend to resonate when you're going around trying to find lug pitches. So if you want to stick your stick under it, or if you just want to use your hand, or you take the snare wires off, whatever is good for you. So I'm going to hit this side, show you how I like it to sound. So it's, it's pretty tight, it sounds like a, a marching snare almost. Alright, so now we're going to go to the other side now, the batter side. This is the side you actually whack with your stick. I mean, you can whack the other side with your stick. I won't judge you. Anyway, so I finger tightened them all once again. This side's a little more tedious, especially if you got an old head on there. I don't know why you'd be tuning an old head, but hey, again, I won't judge you. So what I like to do is half turns, but first, after finger tightening, go around, ch check your lug pitches. It should all be relatively the same. Now the way I like to tune the snare is not based on lug tension, it's based on lug pitch. So every time, uh, after I go around and tighten, give a turn to all the lugs, I check my pitches and adjust accordingly. So here we go, first turn, half turns. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a keyboard. That's not what I meant. Here it is! Here it is! So I use GarageBand and just pull up the keyboard. The keyboard. So I can easily select a pitch. So with my snares, I generally like to tune them to the note E. I think that's a good rock tone. But if you want to experiment, I would say don't go any higher than F sharp, really, because things tend to get a little, uh, little tight in some places. All right, so let's see where we are now. That's the most important part. And it's important to note that at this point, I've finger tightened and gone up a half turn on all lungs. And I've evened out my pitches here. Alright, sounds like we only got to go up a couple steps here. So I'm going to do quarter turns at this point. Quarter turns, go around and match up my pitches. Alright, so quick recap of my method at least. When you tighten the bottom head, tighten it, tight it as tight as you can go as you prefer to go, I should say. And the top head, when you go up, finger tighten, go half turn until you can get a nice pitch out of it, even them out, and then go quarter turns up to your desired pitch. Like I said, I wouldn't go any higher than an F sharp. So for comparison now, this is a wood shell. I have a metal shell, a chrome shell, it's a Ludwig Acrylite. So I'll get to that one right now. So the first snare we're going to test out is the Ludwig Acrylite. We've got my stick handy. We're going to hit this thing. Alright, so that's good for like a kind of a poppy sound, I guess. Nice short decay there. Sounds pretty cool. Alright, so the second snare we're going to be looking at is the first one that I tuned, the Pearl Vision. This is a birch shell. Got my stick handy. Let's test her out. All right, and that is my standard go-to rock sound. Nice and powerful, and uh, I mean, we're ready to rock at this point. So I know today we only covered two different snares, and there is thousands of different snares out there. Different kinds of metal snares, different kinds of wood snares. So I encourage you to experiment with all the different sounds you can get out of your snare collection. Thank you so much for tuning in to the third part of Drum Maintenance. Check out more videos on our channel. Colin just came out with a nice little mix series the one hour mix series, so keep updated with that. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you guys so much again for all your support. Peace out.